In this video, we are going to discuss about metrics, roles and responsibilities in release and deployment management. The metrics are number of incidents by backout. So number of incidents occurred by backout is considered as a, as a metric in release and deployment management. Number of accurate and timely release at remote sites. So number of accurate and timely release at the remote, remote sites also is considered one of the metrics in release and deployment management. Number of unused softwares that have unnecessary cost. That means any license fees which are unused are also accountable in release and deployment management. Number of times unauthorized software is used. So number of times the unauthorized software is used also is accountable in release and deployment management. Number of times CM DB status is updated or not updated. So it should be uh, there in a point that CM DB status should be updated and that is also considered in a matrix of release and deployment management. So coming to the roles and responsibilities, the major primary role is by the release and deployment manager and he coordinates the implementation of the process with the other teams and his responsibilities are he prepare release plans, he authorizes the release build and configuration and also he communicates releases to the other groups coordinate final implementation of release and also he is the member in change advisory board. The next primary role is of the test manager. He ensures that the release is tested and signed off by proper authorities and also successful testing of the release before sign off and also ensures testing environment is same as the live environment. Preparing rollout plans with release manager. So he will be coordinate with the release manager and he will be preparing the rollout plans. 